It does come in five colors, and those colors I can't think of right now. I'll think about them at the end of the video when I actually have to. So a few days ago, I made a video about the Prodigy S7 Scoot. I didn't tell you guys too much about it because that wasn't really the point of the entire video. That video was more of like an actual vlog, but I asked you guys to let me know in the comments below on that specific video if you wanted me to give you guys an actual detailed review of the pro of the new Prodigy, this one right here. So that's exactly what we're doing today because a ton of you guys said that you wanted that video. So um, we're gonna give it to you. I wish I had one of the old Prodigies here to kind of compare it like side by side. Oh, it's not a Prodigy, but it's it's a KOS and it's, it's close enough. The head tube's pretty close to the last one. So we'll use this as a reference. So a lot of you guys have probably seen a lot of photos online that are kind of showing the new Prodigy, showing all kinds of photos of it, telling you guys a little bit about the specs, things like that. But none of you guys have actually seen them in videos, at, at least, I mean, I, I don't think there's a lot of videos of them just yet. They are available in stores right now. Not every store, because I'm sure a lot of stores are still waiting to get their actual shipment of them. Um, but I know that they are available in a few stores. So we'll start from the top. Uh, on the top you have the standard TPR grips. A lot of you guys absolutely love these grips. I know I love these grips. I ride them on my scooter right now. Um, I had this exact color on my last scoot, but I ripped them. So um, I have some new ones now. But these things are really, really soft. Uh, come in all kinds of cool colors. There are plain colors. There's some mixed colors like this one here. Um, they're 160 millimeter, millimeters long. So they're a little bit longer than like a standard, uh, like we'll just say an ODI soft grip because that's a grip that uh, is pretty known in our industry. It's a little bit longer so you guys have a little bit more room to actually grip onto your scoot. And it also comes with the nylon bar ends, which is a really nice touch. Oh, there we go. Nylon bar ends. As for the bars on the Prodigy, we have the iconic like Prodigy bar with that gusset in there. These are 4130 chromoly. They're not gonna bend, they're not gonna snap uh, or anything like that. They, they also, these are a standard size bar, so if you guys wanna run IHC or like a standard size SCS, you can, you cannot run HSC on this. So for those of you guys that are ordering, can't run HSC, so don't try it. These are, tw I think they're 21, oh, I'm trying to remember now. 21.25 wide by 24.5 tall, I think. Tall enough. If you guys need to cut them down, you can. Obviously, don't use a handsaw for that because it takes freaking forever. Trust me, I know all about it. And at the bottom of the scoot, you have the standard double clamp, aluminum double clamp with six mil bolts. Um, the reason this is a part, by the way, is because I was filming with it yesterday. And um, to fit scooters in the back of my car, you have to take the bars off. Otherwise, it's just it's just a freaking mess. So excuse the two-piece thing we got going here. So the bars are cool. All you guys are used to these bars. Um, but oh, and you have the little stamped logo on there. I forgot to show you guys that. Let's see if we can pick that up. Right there, you see it? Stamped logo. Um, but a lot of you guys are used to these bars. You guys have seen these bars before. And you guys are really looking for the new changes. Now, all the new features on this new scoot are mainly towards the bottom of the scooter. So uh, I'll show you guys all those. I almost broke the glass. All right, so new features. Like I was saying, you guys have probably seen a lot of photos of these scoots online. Um, so you guys have seen the most dominant feature, which is obviously the new head tube. This new head tube is a forged head tube, and it looks extremely, extremely gnarly. Now, this, it, this head tube is a lot stronger than, the, than, here we go, than this one. And the reason is some people have seen scooters break like, that have this standard like a uh, square kind of head tube shape. They've seen them snap like the actual head tube, which does make sense. It's a hollow head tube. It's not a full like billet head tube or anything like that. It's not full aluminum. So there's gonna be stress points on this actual head tube because it's hollow. But this one is not hollow. So breaking this thing, like bending it, stress fracturing it, actually snapping it, anything like that is gonna be a serious task uh, because it's like, not, it's not hollow like this one. See, you can even see on the bottom, there's no cut through. There's just a straight, that's gonna be really hard to pick up, but there's an actual, oh, you can kind of see it. There's an actual weld right here. That's just, it's just the actual bottom of the head tube that is just sticking out, but it's not hollow at all. You can see kind of on the inside, you can kind of see like right in this area right here, there's no cut like holes or anything like that. So there's, so there's this thing's not gonna be nearly as, I don't wanna really say vulnerable. That's what that's the word I was really looking for. It's not gonna be as vulnerable as any squared head tube in the industry today. As for the actual design of it, it's got a cool little like swoop up kind of design thing that we got going here. And I am gonna take, I, I didn't design this entire head tube, let's clarify that, but 
I, I did, I did, uh, I did suggest this part or something in here. I remember because I texted Denny. Welcome. <laughs> you got the cut through right here to make sure you guys save a little bit on weight. Plus, I've always liked that kind of cut through look when it comes to actual side of the scoots, uh, which makes it cool because you can see the back of the fork in here as well, as well as the iconic cut on the front with the Envy logo um, that you can see on the front of the fork. Now, the fork is different too. Different? Different. Forgot to say the size of the deck. 4.7 inches wide by 19 and a half inches long. And you also have the front nylon plate if you want to do like crooks, nose blunt slides, anything like that, you'll slide a little bit better. We also have the nylon inserts in the back as well. So yeah. Anyways, moving on to the fork. The fork is a little bit different. This is the Prodigy V2 fork. Now this fork is different in the sense that you can run up to a 30 mil wide wheel. So Envy's, it's not, it's not their standard wheel, but the wheel that comes on the KOS completes or the Lambo wheels or the full cores that you can get like aftermarket, things like that. Those are 26 millimeters wide. These ones are 24 millimeters wide, but you guys can see there is quite a lot of room on the side of this scoot. Now the way that that works is there's a couple like larger spacers on the inside. So if you want to run them, you, you can, which it would be for a wheel that's this size. If you want to run 30 mil, you take them out. The wheels that come on this scoot are not 30 mil wide. Like I said, they're 24, which is a pretty good size wheel still. It's still 120 millimeters in diameter, which is again, the same size wheel that I ride. So I like the fact that these do come with the 120 millimeter wheels and they did on the last one as well. But the last one did not come with the hollow cores. They came with, I don't know if you guys remember, it was like a spoked wheel. I think it was like either a five or a six spoke wheel. Still cool, um, just not as neat and clean looking as the hollow cores are. 86A urethane, black on black. And uh, yeah, they look. I think they look sick. Especially on this one, because this one's almost like the murdered out scoot. It's not the black scoot, because it does come in five colors. And those colors, I can't think of right now. I'll think about them at the end of the video when I actually have to. But this one has a lot of black on the deck. Obviously, it's got a lot of blue too, but uh, it's got a lot of like black spots. And so all of the blacked out parts, I think, look really good on it. Anyways, we'll, we'll get to the deck here in a second, the actual color. But um, yeah, 120s, 24 mil wide. Uh, ABAC 9 bearings on the inside, make sure you roll nice and smooth. Same bearings I ride, again, um, very fast. IHC compression on the Prodigy this year, just like last year, the year before, and the year before. IHC is a great compression system. Again, I run that one. It's very, very light, it's very dependable, it keeps your scoot tight. What more can you ask for? As for the brake, you got the standard nylon brake, the same one that they had last year, um, which I'm cool with that because I love this brake. It's the same brake that I ride. Again, same one that comes with all the AOS V4s as well as the AOS V4 limited decks. It's cool because it has like this little like dotted design on there, which I don't know if my camera's gonna focus right now. You can see like the little dots in there and that, that makes for a lot of use when it comes to an actual grip on your brake. So when you're doing whips and you catch the brake or the, you catch the whip on your brake, your foot's not gonna fly off. Like some of the previous scoots had just like a straight steel brake, which was cool, you know, it was strong. Um, the only downfalls of it were one, it would cut into your shoe, which I had also when I rode for Phoenix, I had, I had a lot of like gnarly issues with that because like, it would just destroy my shoes. Never had that happen with one of these, which is nice. Um, and number two, it was slippery. You couldn't put any kind of grip surface on it. You could put grip tape on it, but it kind of looked tacky. Plus it, it would like, if you caught it on the side, it would peel up kind of like it does on your deck sometimes. But like in the fact that they have the nylon brake on there, back, obviously you still have the same 120 mil, 24 mil wide, uh, hollow core wheel, same ABAC nine bearings in the back. <clears throat> oh, as for your brake bolt, Sorry. As for your brake bolt, you have the five mil bolt right here. Let me let me explain something about these five mil bolts. Five mil bolts, they're cool, um, but this one you you can snap this if you tighten it down like absolute like a freaking maniac. If you tighten that thing down like crazy, it's gonna have a stress point to where it's just gonna break. Don't over tighten this. And if you're gonna tighten this, don't use a three sixteenths Allen. Use a five. Be smart. Don't use the wrong tools for the job. Use the right tools for the job so you don't destroy this little bolt because this bolt is a pain to get a hold of if you if you lose it or break it or whatever the case may be, just straight strip it. Good luck finding another one. It sucks because everybody uses this. Everyone. All right, I did want to touch back on the deck again just to give you guys a little bit more 
insight on it. The bottom of the deck is the extruded design. It's actually um, really, really close to the last one that they used, but that's great because it has these awesome like grind rails on the outer edge. On the top side, you have the Prodigy logo right here etched in, so it's, it's not like a sticker, so it's not gonna come off. Um, you have your black grip tape. Black grip tape, like I said, is another component of the scoot. It's just the straight black, which I think looks good. I th I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure black just comes with, with all the Prodigies, just because it's easiest. You know, I Emmy mean, doesn't have to make a whole bunch of different grip tape colors to make sure that they match. They just make one. Plus, everybody loves black grip tape anyway. But I wanted to step back um, on the, the, the whole color scenario with this. There's five different colors. Let's see if I can get this down first try. Oh, goodness. Black, oil slick, Scratch, splatter, which is this one right here. And this, oh, the splatter is a little bit different this year too. It's not wrapped, it's a straight anodized. Some of you guys might have seen the video where I actually did, I, I put this, the old splatter on a Prodigy deck. If you didn't see that video, go check it out. Um, link will be in the description below. Uh, but yeah, new anodized splatter. And it also has like uh, some, some purple in there as well, which again, Cool little addition there, just a nice little touch. The last one is a new color called Midnight. Now Midnight, I, I've only I've seen it a few times. Um, I picked it. I went to China, saw that color. I was like, that thing is sick. Again, you're welcome. But it's like a dark blue slash. But it's almost like like these kind of colors, sort of. But like on the entire deck, it's not a splatter. Uh, but it's got blue and purple in there and like a very, very slight hint of green. These ones are anodized and all of them are like either anodized or have a painted finish. So there's no there's no wraps in this year's um, line. Last year you had the wrap on the bandana, you had the wrap on the splatter. And I think that's, I think that's it. I don't, I can't remember. I think. Oh, headset. Headset is a sealed integrated headset. I don't know if there's anything different about this headset in particular, but the, I, I got two of these scoots. Um, I gave one away, but this thing is freaking so nice. I did a couple whips on this thing yesterday when the bars were on, <laughs> and it whipped awesome. Same black headset cap as well. It doesn't have any Envy branding on there. It's just a black headset. A lot of you guys are probably wondering if, oh God, if I'm gonna be riding this scoot in today's video, um, and the answer is no. I'm not gonna be riding this scooter in today's video. I'm gonna be riding this scooter in the next video. I wanna take it to an actual skate park that's got like bigger ramps. So I might take it back over to Skater Cross and see how this one does compared to the last Prodigy just because I know I made that, that video that a lot of you guys have probably seen because it went pretty viral for me. I, I just, I cruised the old Prodigy on the Skater Cross ramp, AKA self-proclaimed mega ramp at Claremont Skate Park. And um, it went really, really well. This one's got a little bit of a different feel to it. And, oh, I did want to weigh it as well. I want to see what just the bottom half weighs. Actually, I might as well just put the bars on and figure out what the whole thing weighs. For somebody that doesn't know what the exact weight of the last Prodigy was, uh, but I, I did hold quite a few of them. I'm gonna say that this one is a little bit heavier. It is a little bit heavier, uh, but there's like obviously a couple reasons for it. It's got the newer, uh, the newer wheels, which are the hollow core wheels, as opposed to the ones with the spokes. And it's got a little bit of a bigger fork, and I'm, I'm thinking this head tube's gonna add a little bit of weight because it's not hollow, but it is stronger, which is nice. But that's just my, like, I wanna be 100% honest with you guys. Um, I think the last one is a little bit lighter, but I don't know exactly just yet. I'm gonna weigh it right now, and I'm gonna compare it to another scoot. I actually changed my mind. I'm actually just gonna put right here with the last Prodigy weighed. I'll just get it offline or something. All right, so we've got our trusty scale right here, but let's figure out exactly what this thing weighs. All right, so I do have the, the bars on right here, as you guys can see. Oh goodness, this is not gonna work right here. Better. Balance. All right, so it's saying eight pounds, 10.9 ounces. So essentially eight pounds, 11 ounces, which does make sense. You can decide if, if you like that weight or not, it's up to you, but if you guys wanna feel this thing out, then all of your local Envy dealers will have it like relatively soon. I don't know if all of them have it right now, like I said, I know some stores do, uh, but if you guys wanna feel it out before actually going through and, and buying one or whatever you wanna do, feel free. This again is the splatter one, but I think it's a pretty cool scoot altogether. I really like, I think my favorite part about the new scooter is the new head tube because I don't see many scooters that have like full forged insides of um, head tubes and things like that. So it's cool, it's cool addition. Hollow cores are obviously a really cool addition as well, the wider forks, but hopefully you guys did enjoy that little review. A lot of you guys did ask me for it, so 
you're welcome. Much love to you guys for watching today's video and thank you very much for replying to my, my question in the comments on the last video um, asking if you wanted this. So much love to you guys and I will be riding this thing within the next couple days, maybe taking it to Claremont. Oh, I'm going to Woodward so I could test it out over at Woodward too. But until next time, your boy's out. Later.